Hi. Hi, I'm Christy. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today, I just thought I would do like a kind of get ready with me video. It's not really that chatty. It's kind of just mostly me going through the steps of what I do for kind of night out makeup. And you can see how I've done this kind of smoky cat eye, this full face. And if you would like to see it, see, see. If you would like to see that, stay tuned and in about one second you're going to see me looking a whole lot uglier than this. I know what you're all thinking and yes, before you ask, I will of course do a hair tutorial on this. I feel like I struggle to get my angles correct. Do I need to be higher? Do I need to be lower? Does this need to be higher? I don't know. Is that kind of better? It seems a little bit better. That we need to do. Okay. Um, basically, I have my works Christmas night out slash day out slash it's the 5th of January so it's not really a Christmas night out but that's what I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to do my base makeup first because I don't think I'll be doing anything with my eyes that I should have a ton and ton of fallout um, and I kind of just like to do my skin first most of the time unless I'm using glitter or doing a cut crease or a makeup look that basically that I feel like I'm, if I might mess up my eye makeup I do my eye makeup first. That's generally the rule and um, if I feel like it's going to be a pretty straightforward eye makeup day I'll do my base first. That's not interesting I'm sure you don't care. Anyway I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Colour Correct Correct and Fix Primer and it's the green one so it'll cancel out any red tones in my skin. I used this in my last video which was a full face of Makeup Revolution and I felt like my skin looked really nice so I'm using it again. I'm not going to use as much as I did the last time because the last time I used way too much. I still don't like the feeling of this when I'm rubbing it on my skin it feels like. I don't know. I feel like when I'm rubbing it on it feels like the same kind of texture as sun cream. Kind of a little bit greasy but it doesn't feel like that once it's on my face. It is just rubbing it in that it doesn't feel the best. I can't stop footering about with this camera. I also feel like it's really annoying that you can see my ring light here but it's the only light that I have and it's the only place that I have to film so does anybody even care? Probably not. So for the first time in literally like six months I fake tanned so I hope that my foundation matches me. I feel like this foundation is a teensy little bit too dark for me normally anyway so hopefully it'll be fine and it is the LA Get the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation and it is in the shade Fair. So I'm just going to put this on with a brush and then once I have my concealer on I'll buff everything out with a beauty sponge. Hmm. It's actually a pretty nice colour match I would say. So I am looking forward to this night out tonight but I don't know man, I feel like I can't handle my drink anymore and I know that I could just go out and not drink but I mean that's obviously not going to happen is it? So that's the only thing I and mean, I'm worried about that. Not just like having a hangover but like the crippling fear that, that you've done something terrible even when you know that you haven't. I don't know, I'm quite an anxious person so I tend to get the fear really, really badly and as much as I love a night out and I enjoy having a good drink, I do not enjoy feeling totally suicidal the next day. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer, I'm in the shade C3 and I also because it's January, not just because it's January but because I would like to be a little bit healthier I am trying to eat a tiny little bit better and when I have a hangover there is absolutely no chance of that happening I'm sure that everybody's the same all I can do is eat, like if I'm vomit hangover I won't eat but as soon as vomit hangover's done my camera cut off when I was speaking, that is very rude 
I don't know where it cut off. I don't know why it does this. If anybody has the Canon G7X and they know why it cuts out after 15 minutes every single time, please let me know because I'm too stupid to fix it. I got a text about an hour ago saying that my order from Morphe will be coming today at some point which is very exciting because it's my James Charles palette and I'm really looking forward to using it. I will do a video with it as well. I'll probably do a couple of videos with it. I think I want to do a... I'm not entirely sure. I either want to do just a tutorial or like a first impressions or I want to do a following along to a James Charles tutorial. I'm sure he has a video and it's like um, doing my full face using only my palette or something like that and I haven't actually seen that video. I've got a lot of his videos that I haven't seen. Uh, I feel like I've just very recently started watching his videos so I think it would maybe be a fun idea if I followed along to one of them. But I also seen Mikey from Glam and Gore and she done a following along to a James Charles tutorial using only the voiceover and I thought that was really funny so I could potentially do that as well. Okay so today I am going to set under my eyes and do a little bit of powder just because um, food is booked for three and I don't know how late I'll be staying out tonight I can imagine relatively late so I want my makeup to last as long as possible so I will do a little bit of powder under my eyes and where I'm going to crease but I'll do that in a minute. I just like to do my bronzer and all that first so that I can pat it out with the beauty blender and it looks a little bit more natural rather than doing it on top of powder. Sometimes I find that it doesn't stick properly, yada yada yada. Anyway, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. This is genuinely, genuinely the love of my life. Okay, and I'm just going to pat all this highlighter out with a sponge. I feel like this just helps to push it back into the skin and make it look a lot less like a powder that is just sitting on top of the skin. So I actually forgot that I had this contouring thing that I wanted to use. It's like a little contouring crayon. Um, ideally, I would have done that before I put my highlighter on, but I actually forgot all about it. So I'm just going, this, sorry, this is by Collection and it is in the shade medium number two. And I'm just going to do this under my cheekbones along my forehead. Try and contour my nose out a little bit. I am not good at nose contour. So, wish me luck. Again, I'm just buffing this out with the brush and just getting the majority of it blended out and I'll go back in and use my sponge. Okay cool, and to bronze I'm going to use the Body Shop bronzer. I have never used this one before, it is in the shade Three, which is a medium matte bronzer. It looks like this. Again, just going back in with the beauty blender. I feel like my makeup is looking really cakey in this area here and I don't actually know why. I haven't used this foundation with this primer before so I'm thinking maybe that's why but I'm not going back and starting my makeup all over again absolutely not and then a contour I'm using the so the revolution soap contour palette this is in the shade this might just be the one shade that it has but I'm using this part here I feel like I just need to even up this side and just make it as horrendous as this one. And once it's all blended out it doesn't look that bad anyway. And finally for blush I am using the Floral Blush by BH Cosmetics and this is in the shade Honolulu Hideaway. And I have never used this before, so I'm hoping it's nice. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I don't mind for a blush. Honey Lulu Hideaway. 
I love that. Oh, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that is a really pretty shade. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go in with the Makeup Revolution Eye Heart Revolution Vanilla and Coconut Fixing Spray. I'm just going to spray this over my entire face. And any bits that I feel like are looking cakey or a little bit patchy, I'll wait until it dries a tiny little bit actually. I'm going to go in with my sponge on top of, just lightly, and dab that out just before I put any powder on. Okay, and then I'm just taking the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm just going to put that in the places that I feel may crease during the day or my makeup might come off or, you know, the drill. And I never really bake my makeup anymore, but I am today just because I do want it to last. And I'm going to put loads and loads of setting spray on top so that it doesn't look really cakey. And I'm just making sure not to touch any of that highlight or anything that I've done here. I do not like doing this before I do my highlight and blush and all that just because I feel that then if I've powdered some parts the makeup sticks to it and some parts it doesn't if I'm doing my highlighting and bronzing and all that. I just prefer just to do this at the end and then I can also sharpen up my contour a little bit. I'm going to do my brows, this is a really boring step, I'm really basic with how I do my brows. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette and lately I've just been using the shade Ash Brown a lot. I feel like I used to do kind of warmer colours in my brow but I've been just liking this kind of really cool toned Ash Brown shade lately and then I'm just going to go over them with um, Glossier Boy Brow. And when I'm at the front here, I just turn my brush on the side and start drawing up the way for like more realistic hair strokes because my eyebrows are a lot shorter than what I would actually like them to be. So I kind of draw a good half inch longer than what my actual brow is. My real brow ends here and I draw it like here. And in this little space here, I start drawing in little fake hairs. Sometimes it looks nice and realistic, sometimes it does not. And with this boy brow, I just brush my hairs up the way. I like my eyebrows to look really bushy and messy. I know it's not for everyone, but it's just, just how I like it, man. Okay, I'm just going to brush this powder away now. It can look a little bit powdery at first, but once I go in at the end with a setting spray, it will look fine and it will all come together. It's really stressing me out how cakey my makeup looks right now, though. Like in this area which leads me to believe that it must just be a mixture of that primer with that foundation because I've used them both separately and liked them both separately never had any cakey issues so that's what I think it must be so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this I Heart Revolution eyeliner and it's one of these ones you might have seen it in my last video if you watched one of these ones that have like the four uh, little eyeliners inside it. I don't know what shade it is that I'm using but it looks like this. Yep so that's what it looks like and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line like into my waterline and in between my lashes. And I'm taking this like a little bit thicker at the outer corner and then thinning it in as we get and into the tear duct. And then I'm going to go in with the Jordan Lipscomb Beauty Bay collaboration. This is, what one is this again? Onyx. Oh, it's honestly, it's in some state. It's been rattled about. It's, it's a mess right now. I don't care. Anyway, so I am going to go in with this shade here and I'm just going to work that into where I put that eyeliner with a little brush this is from bh cosmetics and it's number six if that means anything to you so i'm just working that right over top of this and what i'm going to do just at the end with my brush is just flick that out and then with a slightly fluffier brush but it is quite tapered at the top so it's quite precise i'm going to go in with this kind of 
lighter um, brown which is a little bit more warm toned I would say and I'm just going to smoke right underneath this and really blow this lower lash line out. Uh, nothing's happening, that's weird. I don't know why nothing was happening there when I was doing that. So I'm just going to switch to this little flat dense brush here. It's the number 5 by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to see what happens when I do that. There, that's working now. Maybe that brush was just a little bit too fluffy to do that with. So my camera cut off, surprise surprise. Um, all I've really done there is smoke that out and I did decide to add a little bit of black from the palette just in the very outer corner of my lower lash line. And I'm struggling to think what I actually want to do now. I think I want to keep the top a smoky liner and the lid pretty basic. So I am just going to go in with this shade here which is the highlighting shade from this Jordan Lip Scone palette. And I'm just going to dust that all over my lid I guess. I'm going to kind of focus that on the centre and then pat it out the way. And I'm just taking that right up to my brow bone pretty much. Okay, you might not be able to see that on camera, it does just add a little bit of shimmer to my eyes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line my, la line my eyes line my eyes using the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm just going to join this liner onto the little flick that we've put out here. I'm not doing like a crazy big liner or anything, I'm just doing a nice little cat eye. Well that's what I'm hoping to do, we'll see how it turns out. Liner just kind of does its own thing usually. Um, we will not really get to decide what kind of liner we want to do. We can have an idea in our head of what liner we want to do but ultimately it is up to the eyeliner. Okay, it's a little bit thicker in the inner corner than I had actually wanted it to be, but it's okay. We shall work with it. I did want it to be thinner at the inner corner and then thickening up a little bit, but it's okay. Once the lashes and stuff are on, it's going to look alright. Then in with the black from this Onyx palette, I'm going to smoke over the top of where I've just done that liner and make it a little bit softer and messier I guess. Not messier, I'm using tiny little back and forward motions just to smoke it out at the top. So I would say I'm putting my brush half on my liner and half on just above my liner. Before I do my mascara, I'm going to do my setting spray just because I want to use a fair amount of it and I don't want my mascara running all down my face. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray and I know that this is a really good fixing spray. It keeps your makeup on all day. It stops shine a little bit. I don't mind being shiny as fuck during the day. I really, really don't. But, um... I'm already quite oily and I feel like if there's going to be photos and stuff taken, if I look too shiny then I'll, I just look a bit mental. Like, I don't really photograph well anyway as it is when someone else is taking my picture. They don't know my angles, like I know my angles, like I can take a good selfie, I can catfish in a selfie, but if someone else is taking my picture for me, no. Yeah, so I just feel like a big shiny face isn't like a nighttime look. I've got glow on my cheeks and stuff and I will be shiny a little bit because I have oily skin but I'm just basically I'm using this oil control fix spray to keep my makeup on to stop me shiny. That's all I really needed to say. And the mascara I'm using is the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution. I feel like I've used quite a lot of Makeup Revolution products in this video. Uh, my last video was a full face of makeup revolution. There was a couple of products in there that I really like, so I've slipped them into my daily routine. This mascara was a huge hit, and I wore it yesterday all day, the entire day as well, and it looked really nice and didn't come off or run or be weird. It was just fine. 
So I'm just putting this on. Doesn't really matter what mascara I'm putting on today anyway. I'm going to be putting lashes on, so that don't matter. Okay, I'm going to do my eyelashes off camera, so I'm going to skip straight onto lips and then I'll come back and do the finished look. Um, for lips, I am going to go in again with this um, pen that I had used on my eyes. And this time I'm going to line my lips with this slightly pinker shade here. And the lip gloss I'm using is another Revolution lip gloss and it's from, um, I think this is uh, the collaboration with Soft Does Nails as well and this is the lip gloss in the shade Cake. Okay so I will be back when my lashes are done, my hair is done and hopefully looking a little bit better than this and then I'll finish the video then. <laughs> this is a weird position. Okay, so that's my lashes on now. I am wearing the Suzanne Jackson lashes in the style Dubai. Um, some of my favourite lashes, they're just so fluttery and this is a, this is a weird angle. Hi. And all I've done with my hair is just straightened it and put an oil through it because that's all I know how to do with my hair except from a ponytail. I feel like if you have nice makeup, you don't need to have nice hair as well. That's kind of my rule. Like, God gave me the blessing to be decent enough at makeup, so I am not good at hair. And people who are really good at hair might not be very good at makeup. And if you have both, then just know that everybody thinks you're a bitch and hates you. So, anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would want to see more videos from me in the future. I am planning on doing videos every single Monday and Thursday, all makeup related, beauty related. Um, so if you would like to see that then yes, please subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!